Hey everyone and welcome to our first week, our first topic, our first question of our series, Asking for a Friend. Today we're asking the question that has been around since the Old Testament. It comes up oftentimes in times of hardship or in times of loss. It's a question that's hard to understand, and honestly, sometimes it even makes us question God. Our question from a friend today is, why do bad things happen to good people? It doesn't seem to make sense that God would reward a good person with a bad situation. Or maybe even that a loving God would let such bad things happen in the first place. I think maybe this is such a hard question because some of the answers are difficult uh, and and we just don't want to hear them when we're asking the question. We like to assume that there are good people or good things in this world, but maybe that's the first place that we need to start thinking about. Or even when there are good people, bad things just don't seem fair to us because we're working on our own standard of what's fair and what's not. In the book of Job, we saw a man who who is seen as righteous, almost perfect even. Yet turmoil came to him, and we see everything that he owned and loved taken away. This drove his friends to assume that he was in the wrong, yet he couldn't think of anything that he had done to frustrate God. So this destruction came to him, and it had no warrant in his eyes. So were his friends right? Was he in sin just because of his human nature, and that's what caused this destruction? Was Job right in that he had done nothing wrong? That it was simply God's decision to do or to let these things happen? While we think through and discuss this in our small groups tonight, I want us to think through some key aspects uh, that surround this this question, this conversation. And here, here are the questions I want you to think through. What is God's role in evil or, or in just bad things happening? What does it mean to be a good person? Are there good people? How does living in a fallen world impact Christians' lives? Or how do you as a Christian interact with this fallen world that we live in? I hope that all these things help you guys as you start your conversation around our question from a friend tonight. Why do bad things happen to good people?